Your boy Savage, aka Sav Cisneros. You tune in to the Sav Lokes Hood Tales 2.0. Like, comment, subscribe, share, hit the notification bell. Let's get to the politics. Big shout out to everybody showing the channel love. Appreciate the love and support. Thank you for the interactions. Before I start this video, let me make this clear. I am no way means promoting gang culture or the gang life to anybody. I'm just telling the testimony, giving some life experiences and uh, shining some light on the Denver Metro. So with that being said, let's get to the video. And then this video comes from the comment section from the homie Glizzy TL. Big shout out to you, man, for interacting and requesting a video. Um, and in your video request, you wanted to know about dropouts in the Colorado Department of Corrections. Um, if you don't know what a dropout is, it's per pretty much somebody that le leaves an organization and um, pretty much from other states perspective, I think it's a person that leaves an organization and goes to another yard. Um, so let's get into it. So we all know every state has its own politics. Every state has its own program. Um, out here in Denver, Colorado, there's not really a compound that they say it's a dropout compound. There's not really um, a compound that they say is a PC compound to be 100%. Um, the reason being, you'll go to different compounds, bro, and you'll have GP and real life killers and convicts on the yard. And then you might have down the road, somebody that rolls up to the yard and they're put on the yard with a bad case. And people won't even really know because out here, not every facility, as soon as you roll up, is checking your paperwork. Um, and there's been situations where people get exposed for having bad cases. And when they get exposed, it's all bad. They'll get sent off the facility, um, you know, or they'll, I seen it too out here. They have a bad case and they end up paying rent to stay on the compound, but they're they're uh, pretty much paying one hundred fifty dollars to the foods that are making them, you know, pay rent. Um, now, out here, how it is, bro, is that when you come through the system, you can actually get on a list and it's a list of people you can't be around. Um, so foods pretty much say, hey, I can't be around this individual. You know, they'll ask you, um, is there anybody in DOC that you know that you can't be around? And you can get on a list to stay away from certain individuals. They won't even send you to their facilities. DOC does it so cold, bro. They'll actually take somebody off a yard that has a bad case and they'll put them on a different facility. But that don't always work because kites are written to every facility. Every facility, you can get a kite and you can get information. Now, with the dropout aspect, um, I've seen it and this is my opinion, but I think this is how really it is. Um, the dropout aspect, when you go into DOC, you get a brand new start with politics and it's not, you know, um, something that's ideal, but I seen fools go in there and they were banging something on the streets. They go in and they see the odds of prison and then they join with an organization that takes them in. So if it was like a Mexican blood fool, they go into the prison system and they know that there's a code because of, you know, um, the Mexican aspect. They start riding with the GKRs or the LPPs. Um, I seen it, you know, LPPs. They've took a lot of ex foods from other gangs and they've actually built a prison family. Um, there's not really an aspect where, you know, you go to prison, bro, and, you know, foods are automatically on your helmet because of the situation. You kind of walked away from an organization. Now, there's um, honorable discharge. That's what they say. Um, but. I seen I there's rumors and I know certain individuals that used to be down with an organization and then they get to prison and they join another organization and that's just how it is, bro. And that's kind of the Colorado system for you. Um, I seen people walk away from an organization with a, a honorable discharge and nothing happened to them. And then I seen an individual try to walk away from an organization and they took that fool off the yard. It just depends on the person. Um, but like I said, 
the program out here is not as structured as Arizona, California. Um, it can get serious in different situations, but a lot of times, man, it's 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 more laid back than a lot of uh, different states, to be honest. You know, um, and that's the reality. That's just the truth. Um, I don't agree with the aspect of dropouts, like denouncing your neighborhood and then going to another neighborhood. Um, but it happens, you know, out here in the Colorado system. Um, and there's not really a certain compound that they have just for dropouts. Now, the closest is Fremont Correctional Facility. And if you're in Fremont or you know somebody in Fremont Correctional Facility 2023, that's a yard for all bad cases. It's more of a sex offender um, yard, but they do have foods that can't be in the system um, for other reasons. So that yard is a no good yard all across the board. There's nobody that it has a decent case that's over there in Fremont Correctional Facility. 2006, there was still GP and some hitters over there. Don't get me wrong. There were some killers, but they cleaned that up and they made that a straight sex offender yard. And there's foods that just checked in from other yards on that yard. Um, but besides that, that's kind of how it goes in the system. Um, there's not really a dropout yard per se that every dropout goes to. DOC will mix everybody with each other, um, knowing that there's fools that, you know, push that line and program and will put somebody's life in danger over them situations. And they'll put bad cases on them yards and it costs lawsuits. I seen a fool, you know, get his head crushed with a bar and a weight thing. And it was because he had a case and he sued DOC for putting his life in danger. I seen a uh, uh, individual that had a new number get put in a cell with a predator and the food raped him the whole night and he sued DOC. So DOC out here has been pretty much sued a lot for putting people's lives in danger, but that's the way of prison. You know what it is. Um, so that would be said, my high salute to the rider. Um, big shout out to you, my homie. Hopefully I answered the question. You know what it is. Let's go.